Hey guys, today's video was not a video I ever intended to make, but I'm gonna tell you a little backstory on this. So for many months, I have been searching for this little ghost pillow that I found on Urban Outfitters website. So I found this at like the beginning of the summer and I thought, okay, well it says it's out of stock, but maybe they'll restock it. I just thought it was the cutest little throw pillow. And when I saw the price, cause it was showing the price, it was like 40 or 50 bucks. And honestly, I can't believe I was even considering paying that for a dang throw pillow, but I loved it so much. I just thought, oh my gosh, it would just be so cute on our sofa downstairs. So once September hit and they were still out of stock, I don't know if this was just cause it was like something from last year or if it was on the website again and then they just sold out again. But I decided, I'm like, wait a minute. This looks like something that would be really easy to make. And I know it's not gonna look perfect. It's not gonna look exactly the same, but it'll be close enough. So my idea was to go to the store, get a towel, because that's kind of the material that it looks like it was made out of. So I grabbed a white towel from Walmart. It was like $1.50, just like the cheapest big towel that they had. And some black felt, and I'm not even kidding you, I was able to make a few of these ghost pillows for like $2. So it was definitely worth it to just do it yourself. It also only took me a couple of minutes. Now, as I was standing there in like the towel section, I'm like, maybe I should grab a couple different colors and I could do a few different pillows and some garlands. So another thing that I was looking for and I have been hunting for forever is some candy corn garland. I wanted candy corn that was like about this big and I wanted it to be like puffy. Here's the thing, when I have my mind set on something, I will go to all ends of the earth to find this. Like I have searched at every single store for any kind of garland or any kind of like cute throw pillow and nobody has anything close to what I've been looking for. So I'm like, I'll just make the garland too. And again, you guys, this cost like a dollar for the whole entire thing. So because of that, I thought if this turns out okay, I'm gonna turn this into a video because this was a lot easier than I thought it would be, a lot cheaper, and you guys already know I love a good DIY project. Before we even get started, I'm going to show you all of the things that I made, just so you know if you wanna keep watching this because maybe this is just like not your style at all but we're gonna start with the little ghost pillow. So it's not exactly the same, but I did get the inspiration from the Urban Outfitters pillow and I did my best, okay? I did my best. All this is is a towel hot glue, so this is like a no-sew project, and this is just some felt, okay? So super simple, and then I just used some stuffing and I hardly used any stuffing for all of the different projects that I did. Like you can barely even tell I used any. And if I remember right, the stuffing I bought from Walmart was $3. So again, if I were to like break that down, I'd probably use 10 cents worth of the stuffing. Another pillow that I just came up with on my own was this cute little cat. I wanted it to just be like half of its face and it is pretty little. Again, you guys could get creative and make it as big as you want. And I actually grabbed one of these half towels. I didn't even realize that I got a small towel and I bought two of them. So it's one of these towels and I only used half of it to make this cat. So I really could make two of them and this towel was $1. So if you wanna be specific, this really costs like 50 cents. And then I decided, because as I was making the candy corn garland, I'm like, this would be cute if I made like a giant one and I just made it as a pillow. So that's what we got here is a candy corn pillow and the three of them together are just so stinking cute. So I'm really excited to decorate the basement. I'm going to do that right now after this video and that will be up in another video. So stay tuned to see my Halloween basement decor. And I'll also probably take you on a tour upstairs of the fall decor, I'd like to show you like an, a whole overview of the whole upstairs. So that's my idea for next video. All right, here is the candy corn garland I made. And again, all I did was I used some leftover towel from making the ghost. So the towel didn't cost anything extra. And then I got one piece of the yellow felt, one piece of the orange belt and those were like 20 cents from Walmart. So I'm telling you guys, this is probably the cheapest DIY project I've ever done in my life. And it's also probably one of my favorites. All right, well that was like the longest intro ever. If you're interested in watching a step-by-step -step process on how I did everything, then just keep watching.
All right, for the first project, we're going to be doing the ghost and you're going to need some of the stuffing. Again, I got this at Walmart and I paid around $3 for this. You're also going to need a black piece of felt and a white towel. So I got a couple of these large towels and I paid $1.50 for them, I believe. But that will really just depend on how many pillows you wanna make and how much of that garland you wanna make. I ended up making 10 of those little candy corns for the garland, but you can make a lot more with that if you wanted. I think two towels though would be plenty. So the first thing I'm doing here is I use a poster board to make a stencil. And if I could go back, I would make him a little bit fatter than he is. I kind of made him like tall and skinny. One thing you wanna consider when you're doing this is the fact that you're going to lose some size when you turn your pillow inside out. And so that's something I wasn't really considering. So he's kind of like tall and skinny where I wanted him to be a little bit shorter and wider. But again, that's just kind of your preference, however you want to do it. That's just something I would suggest. And if I did it again, I would make the stencil a little bit bigger. All I'm doing here is I'm using some hot glue and I'm gluing all the sides of the ghost, but I am leaving a big hole at the bottom so I can turn him inside out and then fill it with stuffing. Now that I have all the stuffing I want in here, I am going to glue this shut. I know you can't really see what I'm doing here. I have a blue Sharpie, so I can kind of see it on this black felt, but I'm just using a Sharpie to get the shape of the eye that I want and the shape of his mouth. Moving on to the cat, it's kind of the same exact scenario. However, the only thing different that I did with the cat and with the candy corn is I actually did not turn these ones inside out. I wanted them to have like a pinched look on the edges. Whereas with the ghosts, I wanted them to look more seamless and so I wanted to turn them inside out. So that will be the difference between turning your fabric inside out or just leaving it as is and pinching it shut. That's just the look I was going for for these next two projects and so that's why I did not do it the exact same way. I actually forgot to get some white felt, so I'm just using some leftover pieces of towel to do the cat's eyes.
To do the little black slits in the cat's eyes, this was a little bit tricky because I wanted to do them really thin and you know, on a little thin piece of fabric, it's kind of scary to use a hot glue gun. So I was being really careful here and luckily I did not burn myself. Okay, here with the candy corn, I think you guys are getting the idea of how I'm doing this. So same idea as I just made a stencil of the shape that I wanted the pillow to be. I'm drawing on the towel and then I'll cut this out and I'll hot glue it, leaving some space at the bottom to stuff it and then seal it shut once I'm done. Just to be clear, you will want to get two pieces of yellow felt and two pieces of orange felt. And I just got these at Walmart, but you're going to want two of each if you want to do a big pillow as well. Otherwise, if you're just doing the garland, you'll only need one of each. Now that I already showed you the big candy corn pillow, I think you kind of, again, get the picture of how you're going to do these little ones. So it's basically the same exact concept, just miniature size. And one tip I wanna share with you is make sure that when you're cutting this out, you cut the outline out completely. If you leave some of the marker on there, you're going to see that because you're not turning these inside out. So you will see some of that marker, even if you have it on the inside. So just to be safe, make sure that you're cutting inside of the line and then your candy corns will look perfect.
Something I didn't show you here, I also made two little stencils to do the orange and the yellow parts of the candy corn. So I just used the stencil, did all of the colors at once, cut them out, and so that they were all just ready to be glued on. This is the rope I chose for the garland and all I'm doing here is spacing them out the distance I wanted them from each other and gluing the string to the top of the candy corn. Something else I'm doing is just for extra security to make sure these don't fall off is I cut little tiny squares of towel and I'm just gluing that to the back side of the rope and the candy corn. Okay guys, well that's everything for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this gave you guys some inspiration to make your own. And if you guys do, please tag me on Instagram. I'd love to see your own creations of these pillows and of this garland. If you're not subscribed, make sure that you guys do that so you don't miss my basement tour where I'll show you where I'll be putting all of these decorations. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video.